In this video, we're going to take a quick look at how the shipment dates might change and how that could affect the uh, production order based on a change to a sales order uh, shipment date. So let's just uh, follow that concept. I'm going to go into the order that we just created a moment ago, which is 1022. Let's just open that back up on screen. It's for 100 FG 808s. So that's the item I'm producing, and it's the 17th. So Mr. Smith calls and says, oh man, I won't be ready for these items on the 17th. Can you hold off maybe a week before you deliver this? So you want to come in and change based on the customer's request, change that shipment date out in the future a little bit to the, um, let's say, to, let's go out a week. So let's go to the 24th. So remember this date. In fact, I'm going to write this down for 24 uh, 14 so we're going to kind of push that out now when I move off that date field it says you've modified the shipment date Do you want to update the lines that's down here on the lines and of course we do so let's go to the lines uh, reservations exist we know that because we created it from the uh, the production order from the sales order uh, so would you want to continue I'm going to say yes and now I want to point out, and I didn't really show this in the previous video, but I'm going to move over to the right a little bit, and I want to explain a couple things down here on the line items. So on this line, and I'm just focusing on this FG808 line, the shipment date now has been changed on the lines as you got the warning that it would. So it's now for... Uh, 424 so here's the new date there is no time for uh, outbound warehousing it might be a one day or a two day you could have that in here for the amount of time it takes to move it through your warehouse which might generate a planned shipment date uh, let's say a couple days later but here's an actually good example of a date change where the shipping time, now that's not time of day, that's how many days it's going to take to get to the customer. So if it takes one day to deliver it to the customer, then the uh, 24th, they'll actually receive it. The planned delivery date is on the 25th. So uh, set your shipping times uh, based on your shipping methods, and it will actually calculate when the uh, customer should actually uh, receive the product. You can always leave this at zero as well and then the dates will all be the same. Okay, now we've just changed the date from the 17th, if I remember those 417, to the uh, 24th. And what we want to do is be sure that the corresponding production order is updated with that information. Well, that's where you run the planning tool. So the planning tool really kicks that in high gear. And it's located right on your main menu here called the planning, um, the, uh, planning worksheet. So you simply run this planning worksheet to calculate any new changes. I'm going to run the uh, MPS, and I think I'll just focus on our FG808. I don't want to see all the other inventory. Just in this example, we're just going to run the FG808. We're going to say OK and see what it says. So it comes back with this new recommendation. It says the FG808 needs to be rescheduled, and we it's checked to accept the action message. The original date was the 17th, so it knows that. And it's saying that the new date is the 22nd. The order date is now the 22nd. And the due date is the 24th. That's the date that we entered, remember? And now it's the starting date. See, this starting date is being calculated by the router itself. In fact, if you, I think you can navigate to the router from here and you can see how it's backing up the dates to come up with the 422. Your router may certainly be different than this with different setup and runtime, but that's that's basically what it's doing to calculate those dates. Just want you to see how the system is processing. And the quantity, there's no change to quantity. It's still uh, the 100 that we had before, but in some cases you may be changing the quantity from let's say 100 to 200. The customer may change their mind. They may want to increase or decrease the quantity and then it will uh, make that corresponding change. Okay, so um, 
uh, we're happy with that so uh, the recommendation looks good and we simply need to carry out what the action message is suggesting to us so we say uh, okay that and then down here I simply say okay and it's completed the work and let's go check so I'm going to go back to our uh, firm plan production order it was uh, this number 32 down here for 100 and if I open that up uh, you'll notice the new date is populated right here on the header 422. That's doing that all automatically. Here's the dates, the 22nd, the 23rd, that are all coming through the router, and the router has been changed. Everything has been automatically set for us by that one simple date change on the sales order. So the order tracking, again, if you wanted to go back and double check, order tracking goes back to the same sales order, show the sales order, and you can see there's that shipment date um, very prominently shown right on the sales order for these 100 FG, uh, uh, FG808 items. There you go, shipment date changes. Thanks so much.